not a cocktail, but instead how to make simple syrup for your cocktails. If you saw my sidecar video, you saw my um, dark sugar simple syrup that I used, which I really love. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Um, but first I need to get um, a pot. This should do. You can use whatever pot you want as long as there's enough room. So there should be plenty. Oh, probably want some water too. Just kidding, we'll get that in a sec. So, with simple syrup, you can do two things. You can do a one-to-one -one ratio or a two-to-one ratio. And what that means is you use either the same amount of sugar and water, or you use twice as much sugar as you do water. I like to do two-to-one because it makes it thicker and more rich. So, I'm going to grab my uh, measuring cup and get a uh, cup of water. formal, so let me twirl you around here. I apologize for the mess. You could certainly use um, filtered water, but I'm lazy as hell, so here I just have one cup of regular cold water. So I'm going to bring that to a boil for now. So while that's coming to a boil, I'm going to get down the sugar from my cabinet. You watch that and let me know if it starts boiling. This is the sugar that I'm using. It's called turbinado sugar. It's like a brown sugar, but it's very um, thick, thick crystals. It's really good. Um, and it makes a nice, rich, dark, kind of molasses -y syrup. So I'm going to hold on to this for a sec. So like I said before, I'm going to do a 2 to 1 ratio. So I used 1 cup of water. I'm going to use 2 cups of this sugar.
so I'm going to turn it down a little bit and pour in my sugar. So all I'm doing now is just keeping this on a low heat and stirring it constantly until all of the crystals dissolve. So as you can see, it's a really dark mixture and all of the grains have dissolved and so it's now just a super thick liquid. Alright, I'm about to turn this 
this up, so wish me luck. So, kids at home, don't try this. <laughs> what you're gonna wanna do instead is put all of the, um, pour it in over the sink, and you could even pour it into a measuring glass, like a Pyrex, and then pour it in where you have a more control over it. But, um, it worked out okay. <laughs> so, this is still really hot, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this out So, and then I'm just going to put it into the fridge. One thing that you can do if you want it to last for longer, like months instead of weeks, you can put a little bit of vodka into it, and that'll kill the germs and let it uh, last for a bit longer. But um, this is going to be fine for me. I'll probably use it up pretty soon. so sticky now. Can you hear that? Pretty gross. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, super easy, especially if you have a little more motor, co motor coordination than I do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll be back next week with another cocktail recipe, so I'll see you guys soon. Bye.